Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. I'm and I'm gonna I'm gonna switch subjects on you. Um, so I've been seeing on say cheese. I see trap boy. Trap boy is uh you know it's a lot of comments coming out of that whole you know um, and then you was on there before. So I watched both of them actually because Sean Sean been on here. So I watch his stuff. Um, could anybody have uh, managed uh, Mo3? Because people act like you really like you, you was there, but it, w it wasn't much you was bringing to the table. Oh, no, nah, nobody can handle him. He was two millionaires. Oh, it, nobody can handle him. He was two millionaires before, the, before I came in the pitch. I heard you say that. Right. He was rap. He was on Def Jam tours and everything before I came in the picture. But when I came in the picture when it mattered. Okay. I, 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 I pressed up his first CD. I went on a road with him, you know. I hear stories. I, I, I went from eight different deals. Watch us turn, they turn us down. We fly back to Dallas with no money. I watch them sign a fucked up deal, go to jail, you know. I was there the, the whole the whole run, the whole marathon. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. It was four other people that came a part of us that was bigger managers than me. Yeah, I, I know a couple of them. I don't know all four. Yeah. 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 So. And they all couldn't, within, they, they all couldn't uh, stand the storm. Couldn't deal with it. Mm -mm. But where Not, managers are concerned, I know a lot of managers always um, supposed to advise their artists. Right. Whereas to what they do and what not to get into, what to get into and stuff like that, were you able to advise him? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And he listened to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mo3 would have been crashed out. Right up. Yeah, because a lot of times that, that's what people are. They kind of blame you and put you in a situation oh, yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, where you nah. didn't take care of him and cover for him like you should for him to be in the, get in the state that he's in. Oh no, right I, I can't control. I can't control what girls has to go to. I can control when it come down to music. You know, I can't control. I can't control none of that. You know, once we do our business and and go home, you know, artists is like their privacy. So you know, I couldn't control like what he did. I can get advice. Don't be fucking with this person. Don't be fucking with that person. But you know, Mo Three was a level head, smart dude. So he wasn't no dummy. So he knew what he, he 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 if he felt that that was that was okay for him, then that's how he felt. You know what I'm saying? But you know, uh, I could try the music and uh, and advise on other parts. But you know, uh, people say all kind of shit though. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm so saying? If he took a, if he if, if an artist take a shit wrong and rain, you as his manager, you supposed to be in the bathroom with him while he taking the shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because you're the person that's still here, so you're the person who's gonna get everything. Yeah, yeah. They have nobody else to talk to or uh, talk about. Yeah, no. Nah, I believe though. I believe though. Uh, when Mo Three died, I think they post everything supposed to fade away. That's mm -hmm. what everybody thought it was gonna fade away. Like, okay, he gone. You know, there ain't no more HSM or Mo Three. Um, all the, you know, all the records. Okay, he gone. But nah, I'm stand up for him. That was my nigga. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gon' talk.